how are you YouTube? Um, I'm finding that I feel depressed again. Uh, just thinking about Aaron and stuff. Um, just thinking like how much he's hurt me and everything. And just, I don't know, it's, it seems like when I'm away from him, it all goes through my mind, all the things that have happened the last couple of years. Like the time he sat on my stomach and my um, my penis was bleeding, um, and I panicked and asked him about it, and he just shrugged his shoulders and said, "So what? My ex done the same to me." Uh, I just feel like really hurt and like, I don't know why he's, I don't know, I still feel really hurt by him, um, I mean I loved him so much at the time when I first met him. And he just gradually got worse and worse. Um, each time I took him back, he seemed to get worse and worse. The first time I took him back, he was really apologising and everything, and really like sorry and this that, and the other. And then the more times I took him back, the more he's just like, like shrugged his shoulders, like he's not bothered. Um, I've been praying for him a lot. I spend most of my nights praying for him and his family and my family and friends as well. And other people that I can think of. Uh, and that helps me find peace of mind. Uh, yeah. Um. Just feels like he's just took it out on me. Whatever happened, whatever's happened in his past which he hasn't opened up and told me, so I don't understand him. Uh, whatever's happened in his past, he just seems to take it out on me over the last couple of years. Not the first year, but after the first year. Second, and definitely as we're going into the third year, he's just got worse and worse. I've had a drink tonight, so that probably hasn't helped my mood either. Um, yeah, I just don't know why he's such a horrible person. I've messaged him asking, can I please be friends with him still? But he just blocked me instead, so... I know in the long run I'll be happier without him. Because he's he's just I don't know, he's hurt me so many times, he's just I feel scared, I feel really scared to get back with him. I feel really scared to be close to any man after Aaron. I feel really I feel really scared. <laughs> My praying for him is helping me. Um. But there's still a lot of, I still feel a lot of hate towards him. No matter how much I pray, I still feel a lot of hate towards him. He damaged my house, he's cheated on me at least three times I know of. Actually a few more times now because I've been speaking to different friends and I found out some more things that he's been doing. Uh, so now 
I know he's cheated on me two more times, that's five times in total. Apparently he cheated on me in October, chatting to someone else. And apparently he cheated on me in November, chatting to someone else. Um, and I don't just mean chatting, I mean like arranging to meet up with other men and that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, so I just need to stay away from him. He can't. He won't change, and I'm not prepared to live my life in fear all the time. I mean, I can't have any time away from him when he's with me. I mean, he doesn't let me. He doesn't let me have time away from him. Um, and I'm scared what he'll do to the house or what he'll do behind my back when I have time away from him. I'm just scared all the time when I'm with him, and I just feel like upset and hurt all the time. And I feel like I'm trying to block everything out when I'm with him. I feel like I can't concentrate on me, I can't, I just can't think about myself when I'm with him. It's just, it just feels really hard. All I've ever wanted for, was for him to be happy. Uh, I would have gotten married to him back in 2014 or back in 2015 if, if I'd been happy with him. On many occasions I felt very unhappy with him even back then. And people advised me not, not to rush into anything um, until I'm happy. People like, because I had a community nurse at the time, Anita, and she advised me that unless I'm happy with him, then don't get married to him. Um, yeah. I suppose I just want a partner that treats me right, really. I want to love a guy, and I want him to love me, but I can never have that off Alan, I know that, because I've been moving for nearly three years, and just it's just got worse and worse. Even the first couple of months I was with him, he used to, if, if I argued with him or if there was any problems, he used to storm out of the house and say, I'm off, I'm going, this, that and the other. <sighs> but now he doesn't even do that, now he just, now he just damages the house rather than doing that. Well, if you love someone, you wouldn't cheat on them. If you love someone, you wouldn't hurt them. That's how I feel. That's why I don't feel loved by him, because the more I think about it, the, the, the less I feel loved by him, the more I feel ignored by him, the more I feel unwanted, or needed, or loved. Maybe that's how he wants to make me feel. Maybe that's that makes him happy to make me feel like that. How does that benefit him by hurting everyone else or hurting me? I mean, he's not a happy person. He's always he always looks unhappy. When I'm with him, he looks unhappy, and I don't know what to do to make him happy. I've been on loads of nice holidays with him. I've done loads of different things with him. I've stayed in four-star hotels in Gran Canary with him and done loads of different things. But I just don't know how to make him happy. Maybe I should concentrate on myself being happy, perhaps. And I know I won't be happy with him, so I can't get back with him. He lies all the time, he steals all the time, he cheats all the time, I just... It just doesn't make for a happy relationship. 
He has this compulsion to look for other men. It's like a compulsion that he seems to have. Uh, I've seen him on gay websites when I've been with him, and I've seen naked pictures of him with another man on his phone when he swore to me he wasn't cheating on me. I've seen on Facebook that he got engaged to someone else. He left me and then he got engaged to someone else. And then... I just don't know what to make of it all. I know that my feelings are going... are becoming less and less towards him each day. And I know that I'll move on. And I know that I'll be happier in the long run. And I'm going to pray to meet the right person. Someone, that, someone that's honest and caring and trustworthy that's the person I want to meet so maybe it's divine guidance then that, that he's keeping me and him apart because that's what I've been praying for like nearly like nearly every night lately I've been since he's left I've been praying for that like nearly every night so, so yeah, um, what time is it there? Uh, was there a clock for the other side? So anyway, I'm in this hotel room here. I don't know if you can see that, I'm in the hotel room. Um, so, well there's my, there's my super dry bag over there, which Lee brought me from Birmingham, thanks Lee. He's a good friend, Lee is. That bag over there, I don't know if you can see, that blue one. Did you see that, that blue, that blue bag there? Yes, Lee got me that from Birmingham a couple of weeks ago. Because <sighs> I have been really low, I've been really depressed. and I just don't understand him, I just... How, how, do you, how, how can you be happy in the long term by making someone else really unhappy? Because by making someone else unhappy, you're feeding into their insecurities. And if you feed into their insecurities, then their feelings will eventually shut down and they won't feel anything for you. So logically, hurting someone all the time doesn't work. Because all that happens is that they close their heart to you eventually. I mean, Aaron left me pretty much every single month last year. He left me and then he come back and then he left me and come back and left me and come back. He done that nearly every month last year. The year before that he done it at least twice. Um, the first year he didn't leave me once. The second year he leave, left me twice. Oh, is that right? 2014 I met him. All that year he didn't leave me. Well, until the end of the year he did. 2015 he left me twice I think, 2016 he's left me pretty much every single month last year um, so I don't know what to say about him I really wanted to be happy with him. I really wanted to be with him. I really loved him. I know I sometimes ask him whether I can have a bit of time apart from him. But that doesn't mean I don't love him. But he seemed to think that... I don't know, I just felt scared to ask him. I used to feel scared to have any time apart from him. Because I, if, it, if I asked to have any time apart from him, he used to punch the walls and stuff. Uh, yeah. So I was scared to have time apart from him. Um, And I think the reason why I'm doing this video is to to get all my feelings across, 
No. To get all my feelings out there, but not just that as well. I'm doing it also for to look back on so that I know that so that I know for sure never to get back with him as long as I live, as long as he lives. I'm not I don't want to know him. Because unless he can change, unless he can be a nicer person. I just I'm I just now I can't be happy with him. I feel it in my heart, I just I had a friend in America who told me all the way back in 2014 to keep away from him. He says that he's not right in the head and that he'll hurt you. And he'd never even met Aaron and he seemed to know that. And he was really, it was really true. If I knew all this was going to happen, I would have, I would have, I wouldn't have even sat on the same table as him. I would have like, sat on a completely different table. I would have said to Caroline, because I met Aaron through Libra Stars, which is a social group in Worcestershire, um, because I've got autism, um, and it's for people with disabilities who are, who are gay and lesbian, um, and yeah, and so, where was I? I just feel like it was a really big mistake getting with him. Because he's hurt me so much. Yeah. I don't know what anything else I don't know what anything else more I can say. I really wish, I really wish I, that I could have been happy with him, I really do. I really wish I could have, I really wish I could have married him, I really wish I could have, I really wish I could have had my life with him, I really wish that, that's what I wish. But it's not going to happen, because he, he doesn't want, he doesn't want me, or he wants me, but there's... He wants me, but then he doesn't want me, and then he wants me again, and then he doesn't want me, he wants me, and he doesn't want me. I just find it so confused and so heartbreaking. I've never met anyone like Aaron. I mean, I've had... How many partners have I had in my life? Uh, I've got to be, like, about ten or something, easily. None of them have treated me like Aaron has. I mean, when I first knew Lee, um, he left me for a time. We had some problems and he left me for about a month. Um, and he come back and I took him back. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I've never had problems like I've had with Aaron. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I just know that Aaron's not the right person for me. He's too selfish. He's only concerned with himself being happy. What makes him happy? Um, having me around, but having other men on the go at the same time. And I asked him, does he want an open relationship in the past? And he says, no, he doesn't want that. But he obviously does because that's what he keeps doing. So and I don't think his family helped the situation either. I think they have quite a bit to say about it as well. Uh, because they seem to set him up with 
other man or one other man called Junior or something like that or Julian or something like that. but um I don't know I think there's just so much frustration there because I feel really frustrated with the way Alan is because I obviously want a caring, kind, honest partner. Um, I'd give anything for that, to be honest. That's really what I want. Really, what I want <laughs> more than anything. That's what I want. <laughs> Sorry, it's just I just find it really difficult. Go like full now, I don't know. <sighs> Get upset on video. I just want to die. That's, all, that's what I want. I just want to be dead. That's what I really want. I just want to be dead. I just want to be dead. <laughs> I wish I was dead. I really do. Evan would be happier then. I know Aaron would be happier then because he cut the brakes to my bike last year. <laughs> I know he wants me dead. I don't have any doubt about that, that he wants me dead. And there was a time that I, want, that I felt the same way about him. That I wanted him dead. <laughs> I don't know whether I feel anything anymore. It's gone on for so long, I feel like my heart's just completely shut down. I don't have any feelings, I feel like a robot when I'm around him. <laughs> I just feel like I can't, I feel like I can't feel anything when I'm around him. <laughs> I just feel like a robot when I'm around him. He's missed out on, the, on um, coming to Blackpool. Because I've come to Blackpool with my friends, Lee and Chris, and they're two doors down. Yeah. I'm in this room. Oh, I've already showed you the room, haven't I? I forgot. Oh. I just wish that I just wish that I could have been happy with him. <laughs> I wish that I could have been happy with him, and I wish that he could have been happy with me. I don't think other people helped very much. My comedian nurse um, was saying that if <laughs> if he lives with me all the time, it would affect my housing benefit. Because uh, I'm on benefits. <sighs> uh, <laughs> and he wanted to live with me all the time. 
and I wanted him to live with me all the time but then I, I was li started listening to what other people were telling me uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say really I just wish I could have made him see that that I still wanted him even when I, we had a few days apart because we did used to sometimes have days apart in the first year uh, because of what other people were telling me we had um, Alan stayed at mine just three days a week the first year for most of the first year uh, and then he left me that Christmas he said he'd come back New Year but he didn't he didn't come back for about a month And why he's treated me like this. I think he's just, I think he's just took the piss out of me. I really do. Because if he loved me, if he really loved me, he wouldn't treat me like this. <laughs> and I used to, I really loved him. I would have done anything for him. I bought him a ring that cost nearly three hundred pounds. And I came back. I went to America in two thousand and fourteen for two weeks. And then when I come back, I put him a ring for nearly £300, which is not 250 260 pounds And then he lost it, so I bought him a second ring, and then he lost that. I can't remember what he's done with that. It's just like... I just feel so hurt, so betrayed, so... I haven't really got, I mean I've got family in Birmingham but I haven't really got much support in Droitwich. I struggle with the things, because um, my autism I do struggle with things and I think he's took advantage of that. Because uh, from what I've heard from other people, as soon as he messed them around they just chuck, chucked him out straight away and didn't want to know him again. Whereas I think a part of my autism is that I don't see things it takes me longer to see what what's what it takes me longer to it takes me longer to um longer to um longer to um longer, longer to comprehend what's what he's done to me like it takes me longer I haven't seen him for nearly a month. By Sunday it'll be a month. It's coming very close to the longest time I've ever had apart from him. And although I feel upset and depressed, I feel like... I feel like really free at the same time. It's like I haven't had so much freedom in such a long time. Because I feel really entrapped when I move him. He makes me feel like... Because I'm always got in my head what what he's doing. If I have, if I go to shops, or if I go to the gym, or if I go cycling, I always have at the back of my head nagging away at me, saying, "What what is he doing at the house?" Um, and that goes through my head all the time. So, so it's not really me then, is it? It's not really me. I haven't done anything to. I haven't done anything to push him away. <sighs> I haven't done anything to end the relationship. I've always loved him. I still do love him. <laughs> I miss him. I wish he was here with me now, but <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck about me. It's all fun and games to him. So <laughs> I can hurt, I can hurt him and get, I can hurt him any time I want, and he'll always want me back. <sighs> he thinks I don't, I can't see what he's thinking. I can see what he's thinking. I can see what he's thinking.
was at Coral Island earlier, which is like the, um, the, the, the amusement park, which is in Blackpool. And I was thinking about Howard, and that we used to spend a lot of time in there. He used to spend a lot of time in there on the arcade machines. He used to spend all day <laughs> in the arcade machines, and I was thinking about him. I was wishing that he was with me. <laughs> but at the same time, I'd, if he was, to, if he was to turn up on my door, I'd be petrified to take him back because he's hurt me so many times. <laughs> I'd be literally scared. I'd be literally scared to take him back. That's how I feel. I feel really scared to take him back. I feel scared to even be his friend, never mind having him back as a partner. <laughs> I get the feeling that he's had abuse in the past and that he takes out on me. Uh, yeah. Takes out on me because of his abuse. What he needs to realise though, it's not my fault that he was abused in the past, that's before I knew him. I I knew him in May 2014, that was before, whatever's happened before that is between him and the person that he was with before that. It's not anything to do with me. I don't know why he blames me, he's ruined the relationship because of all this anger and hate that he had in, that he's got inside of him. <laughs> All this anger and hate that he directs them towards me. Oh god, I'm gonna have to put my moisturizer on again. <laughs> All this crying. <sighs> I just wish he was happy. I wish I was happy. I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I've been praying for him. I've been praying for him every night. Um, <laughs> Link and Gerga, the spirit, my spiritual guide on YouTube, he recommended that I pray for him, and I have been praying for him for months and months. And it has helped me quite a lot. But it doesn't change him, he's still... Every time he comes back, he still does exactly the same. And it's getting worse for each time. Each time we're taking him back. So it looks like he's lost me for good. Because as much as I want to be happy with him, I've got zero chance of being happy with him. The way, the, the way he is at the moment, I've got zero chance of being happy with him. Okay.